quality sunset headed out tonight. Man, that's good. But I'm almost to my spot. We're gonna see how this goes. Holy crap, it just keeps getting better. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful sunset. Oh, true. I wish I knew the story of every cell phone I find on the side of the road because it happens way more than it should slash you would think. That's probably like the uh, seventh or eighth not like obvious burner phone, but like actual nice like smartphone that I found on the side of the road. There's plenty of burner phones too, but those aren't as interesting because I know what those are for. Boy. Hello. That's my... S oh. He's suddenly very unhappy with me. Well, I'm going to leave him to it. This is a Soul Fugid, aka Camel Spider. Really creepy, but overall harmless arachnids. All right, guys, it is 10:15 at night, and I have still not seen a snake yet. Not the end of the world, but it's always a little discouraging when you start slow. But I'm gonna keep at it. Conditions feel good. It's a little warm, but. Hopefully as it gets later, it'll cool off and become more favorable for snakes. We will see. Well, it's almost 1 a.m. and I just found my first snake of the night. Beautiful black tail rattlesnake right here on top of the cut in ambush. I'm going to leave this guy to it and call it a night, take the L. But at least I didn't get skunked. That's a beautiful rattlesnake. All right, guys, well, it seems like it's going to be a slow night, so I'm going to hit one more cut, and then I'm probably going to call it. Uh, if I see something, I will let you guys know, but if not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it's next night. Steven's back again. Look at that nice little mountain over there. Anyways, you were talking about me for <laughs> we're doing a little road cruising right before it gets dark, and then we're going to go shine some cuts, so hopefully tonight's better than last night. All right, guys. Well, we cruised our first snake of the night real quick on the way to the cut. That is a beefy blacktail. Look at that. We'll get some quick photos of him. Just look at that tail. Yeah, he's got a long black tail. There's a real black. That's a good looking snake. It is. Well, we're gonna get this guy out of the road real quick and start shining cuts probably. There it is. The bigger black cells I've seen this year. And there's a nice little towel slide right here for him. Oh, yeah, crawl towards the road again. That's a big black tail. Sure is. It's probably one of the longest I've seen. Go yeah. That way. I know you weren't just crossing the road for fun. Right, there's a car coming. All right, I dropped Steven off at the next cut down the road. Uh, we're already off to a better start than I was last night, so I'm gonna hit it and let's see how it goes. So the game plan for tonight is Steven is down that way, our buddy Rob is up that way, and I'm gonna hit this cut here in the middle, and we're going to meet up at around 11 o'clock and hit a big cut together, so. So, those are mosquitoes. This is gonna be a fun night. I just shined my first snake of the night that's not on the road and it is coincidentally the same species that we just saw on the road. Let's see. There you go. Can't focus. Little earth phone. What the heck? What on earth? Blacktail rattlesnake number two for the night in this little crack. But I'm just gonna leave that guy right there and keep shining. 
All right, guys, here's the next snake of the night. Good looking little Baird's rat snake here in situ at the base of this rock wall. That guy has some great coloration on this head. I'm gonna grab him real quick for a better look. All right, guys, here's another look at this Baird's rat. Really nice looking color. Look at those little orange blotches. As this guy gets older, it'll probably mature into more of this coloration throughout the body, but really nice looking snake either way. We'll get a couple shots of this guy and keep moving. So it's after 11 o'clock at night and I just spotted this little great plain skink crawling around on the rock cut like a gecko. Just straight up nocturnal activity in a skink species. That's pretty cool if you ask me. But I'm gonna get a couple quick shots of this guy and leave him at it. He's gone. Oh, here he is. That's an interesting place for a Texas toad to be hanging out. What'd you see? Oh no, I'm talking about the toad. Oh. What all have you found? One singular Udo. An Udo? No snakes. No snakes. Jesus. All right, guys. Next snake of the night is this even bigger black tail coiled up right here. This is the third one I've seen tonight. Oh, this one's even bigger than that one we moved out of the road earlier. All right, guys. Here's a look at this black tail next to my alternate and pole, which is probably about four foot long, three and a half foot long. But definitely a good looking snake. Gonna get a couple quick photos of him and let him go. That shot with you in the background. All right guys, well it is after 2 a.m. and it's getting really late, so we are headed back for the night. Uh, it was pretty solid, we saw a good number of snakes, but we're gonna go crash and get up and do it again tomorrow. All right, guys, we're out here on the grasslands. We're gonna try to cruise a hognose snake before shining cuts tonight. So let's see what we can find. It should be right here. There he is. Oh yeah. Going out the back. Oh, he's a mouth opener. He's so dark. He is dark. Yes, we're All right. right. Texas horn lizard number one. There's our second horn lizard of the day. He's dark. Maybe that's an after. He's got a speckle belly. Does he? Oh, he yeah. do. He got little light speckles. Anyways, second horn lizard of the day. Why am I bleeding? Number three. He's chilling. He's going. Oh, oh. They're so bad at going through grass. But yet really good at the same time. Look at that stripe down his back. Number three. Ooh. We just had a double horn lizard stop. Look at these boys hanging out on the road. Oh, I'm guessing it's not boys. It's a boy and a girl. Get a picture real quick and then I'll get some more video. No, that's no, four and four five. Four and yeah. five? Yeah. yeah. Who's got money on speckled bellies? Oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> not under the car. Oh! <laughs> Speckled belly? Oh! <laughs> Speckled belly? Speckled belly. That's a very lightly speckled belly. Anyways, we need to get these guys out of the road. Alright, we're gonna let these two go, this little pair, and keep cruising. Oh! 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 That is a big one. Solid belly? Pretty solid. Speckles. Faint speckles. That's a big head though. Look at that thing. That's number six, right? Yeah. That's number six. six. Don't drive in the middle of the road, kids. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hognose. Oh Ooh, he's pretty God. too. Dude, that's the nicest contrasty one I've seen. Oh Get in there. God. Heck yeah. 
He's got a solid black belly. Oh, he's playing dead on us, though. Oh, there you go. That is a beautiful little snake. Wait, wait, wait. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> so it should be noted that this is the first snake we've cruised all day. <laughs> but anyways, got exactly what we were looking for. Great way to start the night. All right, guys, well, that hognose hunt went about as good as you can expect it to. It was the only snake we saw. I uh, saw plenty of horned lizards, too, so it was pretty fun road cruising. Anyways, I'm out here cut shining right now. I dropped Steven off at the next cut down the road to cover more ground, and uh, we're going to work these cuts for a little bit, and I'll check in if we see anything. <laughs> All right, guys, our first snake of the night on a cut. A little Great Plains rat snake up here in C2. Nice-looking little one. In C2. Steven didn't find anything and neither did I, so we started walking together and spotted this guy. But anyways, gonna leave this guy at it and keep him shining. Alright guys, here's our next snake of the night, not too far past the Great Plains rat snake. There's a little juvenile black tail rattlesnake coiled right here. This guy looks like he's got a meal in him that he's probably trying to digest, so we're just gonna leave this guy right here and keep moving. Good looking little snake though. All right, guys, well, week 29 started off pretty slow numbers-wise, but there were a lot of really cool snakes kind of unevenly spaced out there, so it was a lot of hard work for a cool snake here and there. Anyways, it was a pretty fun couple of days, but the end of week 29 is going to be exciting because I am traveling with a couple of friends to New Mexico, and we're going to look for some species of snake that I have never found before. So stay tuned. If you want to see the rest of the week 29 video, it'll be going up a little bit late probably because I'm not sure when I'm going to get back. But subscribe if you want to, and thanks for watching.